Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do uh, your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. All right, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. So Aries, we're going to start off with love. What are the love messages for Aries? Okay, these two cards came out. The Ice King and a Triangle. So somebody is hell-bent on keeping this um, open relationship, this triangle. It could be you, Aries. It could be someone else. Um, you could be dealing with someone who's older, maybe married, um, not married, but they really want things their way. There's no movement here in terms of their mentality. Um, they want to keep it open. Let's see. Yeah, new love. So new love is here for you if it's for the taking. This also could be just an, a new lease on life. The universe wants you to see something differently, that you can um, have new love for yourself and maybe even for someone else. Let's see. Yeah, past love. Something. Let something fall apart. Let it break apart because, first of all, it could be a triangle. Someone isn't willing to uh, allow you to be the only person. Someone doesn't want monogamy. Okay. Um, the hand of destiny is here. Maybe you met this person for a reason or the universe will bring um, you two back together, maybe to even close a door. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, something came into your life for the short term to show you what it is you really don't deserve, what it is you really don't want. Yeah, this could have been a young male or someone who acts young, has this, could be could play sports or gets a lot of attention because they have a nice car, they look nice, or they're tall, they're statuesque. They could be older, okay? They or they need to mature. They act young, and it, this relationship was all about passion and love and sex and fun. It could have been a twin flame for some of you, but maybe somebody didn't see the seriousness, the significance of the relationship. Therefore, it kept the twin flame journey very toxic. And then that's why it's coming up as short term. This is also someone who gets around, who travels maybe for work, or they like to travel to you, or there's long distance between the two of you, or this person has like a rotation of people that they see, okay? Uh, let's pull some soulmate cards here and then we'll jump into career and finance. All right. These fell onto the floor. All right. So, yeah, start reclaiming who you truly are. It's like maybe you lost yourself in this because it was like it felt all like twin flamey, like you had to be with this person. You could be dealing with an older gentleman also, but um, maybe he has a lot of nice things or he has a lot of money or whatever. Um, try to be the rainbow in someone else's cloud okay so maybe there is somewhere else you can put your energy effort time love devotion maybe there's someone going through something and then as you're going through you can help them through it almost sounds like trauma bonding but maybe this will help you take your mind off of um this situation that you have no control over really um, but try to be the rainbow in someone else's cloud Right, so try to be the happiness, the, the bright future. Yeah. In the end, you tried and you cared. And sometimes that's just enough. OK, especially for some of you who felt like you were dealing with the twin flame. You tried. This person didn't see the significance. They didn't want to see it. You have to let go. Whoa. I said let go. Then looked at this card. Let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disrupt your peace and carry on all right that's what i'm getting for you aries it's like you really have to learn to let go this is just not working in your favor and and that's okay it's not that um it's not the end of the world it's not um you know something being um done or over doesn't mean failure or you know it's a finale you know it's the finale of your love life you know it's um it's just the end of that thing let's see what the universe has to say for career finance five of pentacles all right so coming out of a place of destitution of not having enough or feeling like you don't have enough or feeling like you are without um so, or feeling like something is being ignored i don't know with a group of people you're waiting for something okay with the nine of wands the ten of swords you're waiting for something to be over maybe this troublesome tiresome uh, time in your life 
two of pentacles you're waiting for something to agree or an agreement yeah it could be coming from some legal team or a lawyer or uh an, yeah somebody who's over something someone who has authority you're waiting to for some of you to make a move you just feel like um yeah ten of cups you're just waiting for this tough time in your life this dark time in your life to be over so look at this you're waiting for the opportunity to come out of the dark into the light into the summertime of your life a happier time a blessed time an open time so it's just like you need this other piece of the puzzle to move forward yeah something about strategy i don't know it's like if it's like a strategy into getting a new home or something about the home or redecorating or remodeling or needing to move um maybe secretly doing this trying to get a home trying to get a loan yeah I'm trying to get to a place of independence and you know like yeah, complete independence by yourself on your own having done all of this on your own also for some of you it could be like yeah starting your own business or something of that nature or you know or monetizing your gifts your talent what is what is uniquely um innately um embedded in you it could have something to do with the beauty fashion cosmetology type of field it could have something to do with that it doesn't always have to be but something about monetizing that also so that's what i have for you some of you are in the healthcare profession or something like that or esthetician this is what i have for you uh aries hold on because things will get better uh, one card of advice for career and finance yeah the eight of cups all right so it's like you're waiting to make a move you're tired of where you are you're despondent um, dissatisfied um you know that you've got to move here yeah four of swords it's like you're planning for the future uh, making sure that something is sure fire here eight of swords i knew it was coming out but you're waiting for another piece w waiting for something to waiting for an approval waiting to get out of somewhere yep waiting for something to end ten of swords coming out again don't be too emotionally attached to this detach emotionally do know that you're going to get the answer that you're looking for that you're going to get the yes answer that something's going to be approved yeah you're going to get the yes answer the magician yeah you're going to be able to make a move some of you this is definitely about a house or a move or departing maybe even divorce or separation of some sort so that's what i have if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you over in the comment section firstly and then go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you guys many blessings to you take care